So guys, the biggest update I was uh, waiting for in DJ Mavic Mini, which is, uh, can I control this camera uh, manually? So yes, now I can control. So DJ has released an uh, firmware update uh, yesterday. So uh, I'll be updating this drone and we'll see what all updates has being pushed through. So guys, this is the uh, notification coming in. So I'll be installing this uh, firmware to my drone. So let me see whether my drone is connected. Yes, it is connected. It's blinking and uh, so is the RC. So let's see uh, what all things I get. It. Okay, so here is the drone. Let me increase the brightness. It's there. Okay, so let's quickly install it. So it's saying installing Mavic Mini firmware, uh, it's done 40%. And not sure how it is going to update it. And, and yeah, 41%. So let it go. So currently I'm updating it. is 53 percent so it's installing in the mavic mini firmware so basically it's installing in the drone so this is what we will be getting in the drone update firmware update so optimize remote controller performance calibrate the remote controller if it is beeping after updating the firmware added manual exposure to video requires tgi ply version 1.0.8 or later added 2.7k 24 fps and 1080p 24 or 48 fps resolution uh, that requires tgi fly again worth 1.0.8 added manual white balance adjustments improved download speed of photos and videos improved flight stability in some scenarios and if you are from ukraine so you'll be able to get a good operation frequency in ukraine Okay guys, so I guess the drone is updated now, controller is getting updated, uh, it's 35%. So the update is successful, now aircraft automatically powers on and they start the aircraft. So aircraft is now powered off, I am going to restart it again, let's see. Okay, so now aircraft is restarted connect aircraft okay, okay i guess so okay guys so i have got my camera connected here i have also started recording the video so that we know that how the exposure value will change uh, right now it is uh, in auto mode so i if i meant to make it in manual mode i'll have to first of all stop the video and then again change it to manual so now manual is connected i have to change the exposure here uh, so let me see whether i can do it in file recording yes i can do it so the iso is 100 so i can change it up to 3200 so you see the difference and uh, shutter shutter it's 1 by 100 so you want to increase the shutter speed you can increase up to 1 by 30 uh, you see the difference how the brightness and everything is I mean, coming as great and then 140 150 160 and so on and it goes below one one by eight thousand so it's a great setting uh, i would say uh, also i have got i don't know what what is m m point mm 2 point plus 2.7 okay so this is something i am not sure so now you have the option to control the exposure value and uh, shutter speed uh, through this uh, upgrade so that's it about this video let me know your feedback if you have any questions suggestions so let me know and i'll try to answer